ChatGPT in Sheets, huh? Well, I guess more specifically in Rose. Rose 2.0 just dropped and it actually just came out with this really cool update that allows you to bring in ChatGPT. If you go to this article that's in the description, you'll be able to learn how to connect your Rose account with ChatGPT. So if I go to this document here, I'll be able to show you some of the really cool functionality that it has. Long story short, in order to connect this, you're gonna have to, as you can see in the help article, connect the API key to what you have in Rose, and then it will give you the ability to do a couple of these different prompts directly in the rows in themselves. And a really great example of this is you could obviously do equals ask, and you'll see this is one of the prompts there. But would be even better than equals ask because I could say write a job description of a CEO and then maximize the tokens. I can put an 0.9 temperature and then I can put like 20 tokens or yeah, 25 tokens. And tokens are the amount of words that it has. So I can move that up to like 100 and then it would populate more. Okay. So instead, what I could do is I could take this and I could do equals ask. Open AI, and, and then we're gonna do concatenate. Then we're gonna do quotes, job description of, and then we're gonna put comma, and then select this cell uh, uh, with a few bullet points on what they do. So I just did job description with quotes, the cell reference, and then with a few bullet points on what they do, and then close the parentheses, and then let's make the temperature 0.8, and then let's do like 50 tokens, then close it off. Oh, what if I do this? What if I do this? And drag it down, bada bing, bada boom. You got it referencing the cells to the side and doing it. This is insane. You're taking the capabilities of ChatGPT and you're putting it in a spreadsheet by asking the questions and referencing different cells. This is so cool. Another really cool example of this could be for something like this, right? So you'll see they actually have some dummy data for you right here. So equals ask OpenAI concatenate the population of A2 in millions. So say you were to drag this down, you're gonna get the population in millions. So it'd be 10.28 for Portugal, 83 million for Germany, 327, I know that's accurate. Let's double check for Germany. So Germany population is 83.2 million from 2021. That is the most accurate data it's got and it's accurate. So let's, let's do another example. So if I added a column here to the right, let's do ask OpenAI, so equals ask, Open AI, the annual revenue of select it and then in millions. Make the temperature 0.8 and close it off. What is the and close this off? We gotta make sure we do concatenate here. My bad. So concatenate that, that, make sure it's closed off. Apple reported a total revenue of 275 billion. God, all right, okay. I said in millions, so it's a little bit off. Google does not publicly disclose its annual revenue. According to Statista, Google's revenue is, oh my God. I mean, the whole point of this was just to show you that there was a Google Sheets ask integration with Rose, which I think is an awesome app. And you can check out the link down below. <laughs> but man, these companies make a lot of money. Just like maybe you'll make a lot of money by saving time and doing more by checking out this video right here.